Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 5. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back. I know you've seen this exact setup before, but I, I promise it's gonna be the last one I watched today. I could go for longer, I could go for a few more hours, but I think the quality of the reaction is gonna go weep. <laughs> this one might already be weep. I don't know, but I just want to see another one. I'm sorry, I feel like with Game of Thrones, it's so close to what I would do IRL myself without this channel that me even taking a break with like normally I would just press play and play and play and play and play and go. So I try to contain myself a little bit for you guys so the quality is good but i want to watch so much more <laughs> anyway last one for today i'm saying this to myself mary okay after that i'm gonna go to bed so i can record more tomorrow anyway let's get into this one so much gonna happen again i i find it hard to start and end the episodes because I know that people want a full-on recap at the end of the episode and a full-on intro at the beginning. But imagine this. Imagine reading a book with 80 chapters and after every chapter that you finish an hour, people want a summary of your opinion. It's so hard because you just want to keep watching. And in, with a book, you just want to keep reading. It's not like you want to summarize your experience all the time if you even explain it through it. So I find it difficult. I try to really do that a little bit. At the end of it, in the beginning of it, very short, but still something. But I must say that I find it hard, especially because I just finished seeing what I find of that episode. And it would feel really dumb to just repeat exactly the same thing. But it's still what I feel because it was 10 minutes ago. Okay, sorry for that. Just so you know a little bit of the headspace of me reacting to these things. Let's just jump into this one. If you like this reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, full reactions are available on Patreon. Yeah, let's get into this one. And then I'll see you all for next recording. Bye! <laughs> so far, what I'm really happy with is that I've not been spoiled by comments whatsoever. Everyone's been super good. And because I recorded, like, season three rather quickly after season two, I didn't get the whole, oh the red wedding thing so i already had seen the episode by the time i got the references also if you haven't seen something even when someone spoils you might not immediately notice it it's so weird but sometimes people react to something like oh don't spoil but i'm like if you haven't seen this you have no clue that this is a spoiler some of course are obvious but i haven't run into those so i've been quite blessed with that that's kind of also why i try to record as quick as possible well i also it's just an excuse <laughs> i just want to see them all but yeah i hope i can keep that up i hope by the time that you see this i'm already ages ahead so you can't spoil anymore fingers crossed if not i might cut that sentence out <laughs> Let's get into this. Whoop, whoop. In the light of the seven, I now proclaim Tommen of the House Baratheon, King of the Anvils and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> oh no. His hormones are good. <laughs> it's so weird, right? So many people want this so badly, and he probably didn't even care for it too much and now he's sitting there with all those people going like i want this i want what he has busted imagine if that's your mother-in-law long may he reign long may he reign he sits the throne like he was born to it yes he wasn't though was he and Joffrey either, no, he wasn't, wasn't he? You still mourn for Joffrey? He was my husband, my king. He would have been your nightmare. I feel... You knew exactly what he was. I did too. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. 
Well, I'm the fourth child, so good luck on me. <laughs> who was the last decent king, I wonder? He could be the first man who sits on that throne in 50 years to actually deserve it. It would be some consolation, wouldn't it? For all the horror that put him there. He will need help. If he's going to rule well. She's so nice to her. Is he? Is she gonna accept her or is she gonna like diss her? You never know. Still interested in being queen, I take it. <laughs> After all that's happened. Yo, don't be a fake. She's not stupid, right? I haven't even given any thought to it. What comes next? It would be a great honor, of course. She's not that stupid. So speak to your father. I'll speak to mine. I won't even know what to call you. Sister or mother. <laughs> so you have thought about it, right? <laughs> Who told you to take their navy? No one. So why did you do it? I heard you like ships. New dress? 8,000 unsullied, 2,000 second sons sailing into Blackwater Bay and storming the gates without warning. She likes that. to say. Could be enough. But we're not fighting to make you queen of King's Landing. There's other news. From Yunkai, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. Please leave me. Her reign is dependent on her presence. Because she doesn't have her people spread everywhere to rule in her name. You could sail for Westeros and leave it all behind. You cancelled me against rashness once in Karth. I didn't listen. It all worked out well. Look at him smiling. He's like, I know, I know. I told you that. <laughs> Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. I will not sail for Westeros. She's gonna go back? I will do what queens do. Let someone else sail back? I will rule. Okay. You're mysterious. That's fine. What does this mean? We're going mysteriously outside, looking very gorgeous, but still we have no clue what this means. <laughs> Is this the only way into the area? The mountains are impassable. If you attack this gate, you do it on this road. Three men abreast and get slaughtered like goats. It's very safe. Welcome back, Lord Baelish. I'd be really scared that the thing is going to fly off. Ugh, that environment. I love this fantasy. Oh, I love this so much. Uh, please tell me it's not being breastfed still. I have brought you a gift. <sighs> He's so happy. Lord Baelish. Look what Uncle Peter brought me. A beautiful gift for a beautiful... Oh, but she's going to marry him, right? So Uncle Peter is going to be stepdad. <laughs> Don't you think I know who you are? I let him go so he could bring you here. To me. Does she think she controls Littlefinger? <laughs> it's wonderful to meet you, Aunt Lysia. No one can know you're here. Molly said they'd killed your mother and they chopped off your brother's head. Glad he got they sensitive. Did. And they killed my father too, with poison. I wanted to make little Lannister baby man fly, <laughs> but mother said I couldn't. I mean, through the moon door. Be careful. <laughs> Did he force himself in you? We never. Good. Robin. Don't. Oh. Sansa, this is my son Robin. I, she's not going to arrange a marriage there, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Is she? Robin, show Sansa to her chamber. Take the back stairs. I love how he looks like a little beetle. We spent more than enough time in her for one evening. It's so he was so in love with your sister, right? We had a wedding night many years ago. Don't you remember? Like it was yesterday. What wife? We had a wedding night years ago. So you had sex. Right. <laughs> you gave me those drops. You told me to pour them into John's wine, my husband's wine, when you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was a Lannister. What? The deed is done, faded into nothing. 
Tonight it is, then. <laughs> Let me bathe and dress for the occasion. Once I'm presentable, I'll call on the Septon immediately. He's gonna run. I'm warning you. I'm going to scream when my husband makes love to me. Is that what a wedding night is supposed to sound like? Maybe I need to take this. this. <laughs> Tyrells are our only true rivals in terms of resources. Do you know how much gold was mined in the Westerlands this past year? Pounds, tons, ounces. Doesn't matter, the answer's the same. Oh. That can't be. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. Must be someone at the Iron Bank you can speak to. So they're broke. You can't run from them, you can't cheat them, you can't sway them with excuses. If you owe them money and you don't want to crumble yourself, you pay it back. I know you're building a strong case against Tyrion, but as a judge, I cannot discuss the trial with you. It's so weird, right? Because he's trying to get closer to the Tyrells and they were the ones that killed Joffrey. The Lannister legacy is the only thing that matters. What does Tyrion deserve? For lighting that future on fire the question is if killing joffrey well he didn't do it right but let, let's say he did is a dead joffrey the end of their future i would not say that right it seems like they have a better chance of surviving than with joffrey tywin lannister the red woman oh did she doesn't know the mountain would you shut up i can't sleep until i say the names we come across my brother Maybe we can both cross a name off our list. Ah. If you were here right yeah. now, what would you do? I'd tell him to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. <laughs> I love them how both they're so witty, both of them. Like so snidey. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Is that his name? Oh no. Go on. Don't say it. Don't say his name, please. Please don't say his name. The hound. Oh man, oh no, all oh, the awkwardness. Uh, like, oh, uh, ballsy to say that, right? When you go to sleep. <laughs> would you sleep then? I wouldn't. He's so kind. He really cares for you. Think where you'd be without him. In their clutches and trial for murder. I'm, I'm very lucky. She's no, so I'm lucky. So Why? But I'm, I'm half Tully. He loved your family so Loved much. your mother? No. That's what you wanted to say. He loves you, Aunt Lysa. He's married Your to you. never loved him. Never. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. No more than those whores in his brothels. Are you pregnant? You're crazy. I swear to you that he's never touched me. Not once, not ever. God, imagine being so consumed with jealousy that you totally... You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Robin. I knew it. I knew it that she was going to... Arrange a marriage with her strange son. Give her a break. Oh my god, where can this girl be like she she's not hurting anyone, right? She just exists. Ugh. Didn't they teach you how to ride a horse? Yes, my lady, when I was young. <laughs> she's so annoyed. Maybe give him a tip or something, how he can ride better. Feel free to stop at any point. Never, my lady. I'm your squire. I swore an oath, my lady. I am releasing you from that oath. <laughs> what do you think will happen if you leave? They'll say I wasn't a very good squire. <laughs> Poor horse. <laughs> I remember her dancing lessons. Who taught you that shite? The greatest swordsman who ever lived. Syria Pharrell, what do you know about anything? I bet his hair is greasier than Joffrey's cunt. It was not. It was? You dead? Yes. How? He was killed. Who by? Merrin Trant. Syria didn't have a sword. Or armor, just a stick. The greatest swordsman ever lived didn't have a sword. What do you mean? Dead like all the rest of your friends. 
Your friend's dead, and Meron Trant's not. There's Trant Tadama and a big fucking sword. I like just putting her feet on the floor, like it already a big f***ing sword. She was actually trying to stab him, right? Imagine if she, like, she didn't know about the armor. So what did she think she was going to stab him suddenly, like? And he spared her again. For one of my daughters. You have several, don't you? Eight. 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 The fifth is difficult. I named her after my sister, Elia. But I can't say it without turning sad. And after I turn sad, I grow angry. Maybe it's not a good name for your kid, though, if you get... Yeah, 100% Cersei. A legendary fighter, but you could not save your sister. I am a Lannister, queen for 19 years, daughter of the most powerful man alive. But I could not save my son. What good is power if you cannot protect the ones you love? Wasn't she like the whole power is power type of thing? You really believe Tyrion murdered your son? I know he did. She's like the only one in Westeros that believes that. I haven't seen my daughter in over a year. I want to believe she's happy. You have my word. You don't hurt little girls in Dorn. I want to see Dorn. The best shipwrights in King's Landing have been working on it for months. Marcella loves the open water. We are broke. I'm gonna give my daughter a boat. Oh no. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna all catch fire now. You're gonna burn the whole place down, dude. Did you remove the skin? No, my lady. Have you ever cooked a rabbit before? No, my lady. Her Did you face. ever cook anything for Lord Tyrion? No, my lady. Her face! Full of disgust! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time. Thank you very much. Oh, give him, give him a toss. Like, make him feel useful. Come on. This is absolutely that Sansa and she interaction. Whilst in Lord Tyrion's service, did you ever do anything remotely related to combat? I killed a man. King's guard. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Blackwater. How did you kill a King's guard? I've pushed a spear through the back of his head. Help me with these straps. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hey. Hey. They're really close. If Locke is there, is he gonna fully run in by himself? Oh, sound. You mustn't let anything stop you. They already have stopped me. You're not here. You're far from here. What does that mean? <laughs> exactly. Good question. At the hill. He's waiting for you. This isn't the end. How will we know the end? Well, <laughs> in Game of Thrones, I might know an answer to that question. Carl was the top paid cutthroat in Flea Bottom. I've seen what he can do with a knife. Have you seen what I can do with a knife? Not yet. Yeah, I was gonna. I was. Right? What if he sucks? <laughs> please get off her! Hold on! Hold on! Please! Please leave her alone! <laughs> that moment when there's no escape. If you let my sister go, I can help you. You can help me. I can. And are you gonna do that? I have the sight. I can see things. And then that's very helpful. Things that haven't happened yet. He doesn't seem to be the it's person that cares. Thing. Have you seen what I'm going to do to your sister? Have you seen what they're going to do? Don't close your eyes. I saw you die tonight. I saw your body burn. I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Oh, I like this because that means that she's going to be fine, I guess. Here, yeah, the night's watch. Right on time, fellas! <laughs> oh 
Oh. Lady, he's jumped with you. Hi, I'll take you to him. Do we trust him? I don't know if we fully trust him. Yeah, Brandon Stark. I don't trust him. Oh, oh, oh. A little crippled lord. John! 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 Keep oh no. Oh, that took me way too long to be like, why do we suddenly accept this strange dude? Completely. He's warging into Hodor? That's powerful, isn't it? Oh! Whoa! Okay, that was intense! Hodor! Oh, poor fellow. Get his knife. Cut me loose. Oh, that poor fellow. Get his knife. Cut me loose, Hodor! Poor Hodor. Imagine... Think about this. What if you kill someone in that way while you are not a violent person whatsoever? Crazy. John! Little bro is here. He sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother and he wants to protect you. Oh no. Oh no, let them meet. You have to decide. Do you want to find the three eyed raven? Oh my god, they're not gonna meet. Oh my god, I hate this. I was looking forward to this for a long time. Oh no. No, no, no. No. We need to free Summer. And we need to go. Oh my god, this is killing me. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Losing their parents, losing their brother, all without seeing each other, and now they could finally be together. We were free men. You'll never be free. You learn how to fight in a castle. Why are the others? Can we not, like, outnumber him? Some old man teach you how to stand, how to parry. You know what's wrong with honor? Is that physically possible that you get it out of like that was not necessary? <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I've been this shocked. Are you alright? I was really gross. Oh, they don't even know that he's a traitor, right? Seven else could do that to a man. I count ten dead mutineers. I said there were eleven of them. Where's Rust? Oh no. He missed one. Oh great. I hope you run right into the White Walker, my dude. Or Summer is gonna get you. <laughs> a ghost, was it? Whoa. I'm confused now because wasn't there another dire wolf as well? And wasn't that ghost? We're in seven hours. Three ghosts too. Come here. Nice when they got somewhere probably. I missed you, boy. <laughs> what should we do with this lot? Come with us to Castle Black. We can find your work. Keep you safe. Yes, such Meaning a sweet face, right? You want to stay here? In Craster's keep. Burn it to the ground. And all the dead with it. His body up in the flames with snow falling onto it. What was Locke doing there, right? So where did he come from? What was his plan? Another question. I'm so happy still, like at this point, I still have so much ahead. I'm so scared when the point is gonna come in season seven and eight that you're like, I'm gonna run out of this. Right now, I feel like I have an endless opportunity to forever watch Game of Thrones, but that will run out at one point. It's gonna be really weird. I'm also curious to know if we're gonna see Dorn. I reckon we will, right? I also can totally see that wedding between Loras and Cersei not happening. Do I see Tom and Marjorie getting married? I don't know. 
he's such a sweet kid that it's also hard to believe that he's gonna reign long like joffrey had that he's gonna get murdered soon character but with tommen it's like is he strong enough to withstand all those angry people that are so good at all these schemes and intrigue what i'm really not looking forward to is the trial of Tyrion because i think it's gonna be chaos right he clearly didn't do it most people seem to know that except for one she's gonna make a whole scene about it so what if they still get him i really like Tyrion, and i miss him a little bit now so um, I really hope that he's gonna be fine because that would I would have a rough time if he would be dead too. Not just from an emotional perspective, but I feel like it also adds so much to the series in general. His whole persona, how he's different from the others, but still very good at scheming. We shall see. I'm gonna call it a night, although I don't want to. <laughs> but I might watch some more episodes tomorrow. We shall see. I fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment how did you like it so far and if you want to see the full reactions they're always over on patreon where you can watch the full reaction to these episodes i'll see you in the next one have a good one bye